I'm back again. Uh, obviously by now you guys noticed I didn't put the video on the back of my other video. Uh, it's been a night. It's been a very long night. Um, so I drew up a couple different things. I think they're just going to be small little pipes. I have something like that drawn up for this one. Um, who knows what I'll end up actually end up looking like. This one I think is actually going to kind of look cool if I can get the shape. If you can see it, the bowl here. And then it kind of up a little bit like this with a nice plateaued top. I think that'll look pretty stinking cool. Um, I, might, I might throw this in a sand blaster and uh, blast away a lot of the stuff off the top. But, but anyway, just a thought process. I just drew it up. I thought it looked cool. I wanted to share. Um, I'll share again once I finish them. Who knows what they're going to actually end up looking like. Uh, oh, excuse me. So, now I'm going to be doing the the same of Gaul with first impressions of the Lakeland Dark Kentucky Lake. And I'll tell you what. I, uh, I tried ripping, some, uh, sh ripping it up a little bit more. Rubbing it out just a hair more. Because it's like a, it was like a shag cut. And uh, some of it was a little bit clumped together still but the smell of this oh man it just reminds me of a nice campfire um, it smells really good um, not a whole lot of dry time needed it does need a little bit but I've only had this sitting out for like 15 minutes and this feels ready to go um, and of course I'm going to be smoking it in my new Morza pipe oh, this thing is so badass I love this thing already I'll tell you what, Neil Garage made pipe tool. I, seriously, um, he charged me one thirty, one thirty for this, and he only asked for forty bucks down, simply for um, ordering materials. So. That being said, um, this thing looks great so far. So I'm going to load this up. I got my first impressions of both the pipe and the tobacco. I'm not going to load it all the way up because it is fairly cold outside. So I think that's good enough. It's about like three quarters of the way, loosely packed. So. I'm going to go outside and give this a go. I'll let you guys know. So two things. One, forgive me if you see me shivering. It's about 37 degrees out and I'm in short sleeve. A sweater, but short sleeve. Two, I apologize if it's a little dark. I couldn't find my light. So it is what it is. So I've been puffing on this for a good uh, couple minutes now. And... I mean, it's coming out. Man, bad angle. Pfft. It's coming out. It's it's smoking to a nice white ash. I don't know if you can see that in there, but two. This pipe is absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's smoking great. It's got a great draw. It light very light lighter than you would think it looks but other than that the reason why I got this tobacco is because I was growing accustomed to getting a little nicotine kick um, from some of my tobaccos that I ran out of And I wanted to try something different. And I was not getting that same kick from any of the other stuff I have. Um, so, going online, looking at this. This stuff's supposed to have a pretty strong. Like, across the board, everybody says it's pretty strong. Now, I already ate. Uh, it might get a different reaction on an empty stomach, but...
right now I'm just really um, enjoying the flavor of this it's what I've come to love about like a dark fired I'm really starting to enjoy them it's really real earthy um, and if you can almost taste the only other thing I've had Lakeland in was a Stonehenge and you can almost kind of taste that um, the Lakeland taste from the Virginia uh, in this tobacco it's very subtle though this pipe is not heating up at all it's not smoking hot even though it's a shag cut um, this is just a beautiful uh, all around as of right now first impressions it's a good smoke I'm enjoying it it's it's almost like a nice cool smoke too now I don't know how well of a kick it I'm actually gonna get from it like I said I already ate Usually I'm smoking on the way to work or the way home from work. So it's usually before breakfast and before dinner. So that's normally when I'll be smoking it. So who knows? Uh, it might be too strong. <laughs> but uh, it's got a nice room note. I mean, it's... It smells good. It's almost getting me to want to explore more into the stuff that I initially didn't like. Uh, I remember the first Dark Fire Kentucky tobacco I had was the RO series Firestorm from Pipes and Cigars. It was okay but I wasn't really a big fan of it I charted up like September and it's in a long term jar and it, I'm at the stage now where it's like I'm really enjoying dark fires so I might actually have to come back to this but uh, that being said I I'm really enjoying this um, you'll definitely be seeing me smoking this pipe a lot more often uh, so other than that Thanks for tuning in. That's my quick little first impressions. And once again, check Neil Garage Made Pipe Tool out. I mean, these pipes are just beautiful. All right, guys. I'll catch you later.